What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. Let's get right into this and today we are gonna be playing a insane deck I don't know what made me make this why I do this to myself, but I did and I do it for the content So why not? Um, <laughs> but today we are doing an Arbok wheezing Jolteon uh, <laughs> Jolteon and I forget the other thing fighting thing um, It's just absolutely nuts uh, it's not a great deck whatsoever, but it's so fun to play just in general, just to see like how you can work around different stuff. We get an we got an Eevee right off the bat with an Ekans in the back, and then we go in for another thing with a Pokeball, and it's another Eevee. So we were looking for a Weezing, uh, but sadly, nah. Uh, we do have one Arbok in here, so if we get that Arbok, that's awesome. But right now, we are just going to place what we want to see is. We're going to be able to see the energy and then the energy behind it. So we want to see what's going on there. Uh, because we're both running dark energy and electric energy for Jolteon. Since it needs only one electric energy to do its insanely strong attack that you're going to be seeing here. Uh, it's like Thunder th thunder, thunder Missile or something like that. Uh, but basically, it's similar to Zapdos. But instead of doing 50 damage in 4 rolls, it does 40 damage in 4 rolls. But also, it doesn't cost two coin. It doesn't cost two points, and then also, it is only two energy to do. And one of those just has to be a basic energy, so I can use a dark energy for one, and then an electric energy for the other. So it literally is just so usable with any kind of deck that you want to make. But yeah, we have the EV in first still, and I'm just waiting. I place the energy on Weezing because I'm able to finally get a Weezing in there. And then he is just setting up his whole deck. He has a Metapod up front, Melton in the back, so a metal deck, and then also a good old Caterpie as well in the back. So we get Jolteon, which is awesome, and we start building up our Jolteon. We start building up our Eevee, making it strong, making it powerful. Look at that. Already so good. Pin Missile. That's it. I knew it was Missile something. Something Missile. Uh, I just could not think of it at the time, but now I have because it's right in front of me. <laughs> um, but yeah, just, I don't know. I was staring at Pokemon cards for a while on the game and I was like, what if I just made a deck that could be like usable with most things? Uh, like what if it just used basic energy, but also had the different uh, like classes in there? And I just came up with this. You could do more, but then it would have to cost energy. I have looked through everything, and the only ele the only thing that doesn't oh yeah, it's Menfu, Menfu, and then the evolved form of that, which doesn't cost any ba any like fighting energy. But what I was trying to say was, look at this really quick. Boom! There we go. Completely solid. And just smacks down that Butterfree, instantly taking it out. That was actually a very solid time for me. And I got very lucky because then this Mel Metal cannot build up. And so, is he just going to place it in our face? No, he places Caterpie out. But we do have Sabrina in the back that we're just able to use to get this out instead. And that's what we want to do. We want to take it out before it becomes a Mel Metal and before it can do 120 damage per attack. Is it 120 or 130? 120. That's it. Um, and we don't have stuff that is that strong. We just have Weezing in here as the highest HP thing. We have two of them, but still, they can only defend so much. Um, but yeah, we have our Fighting, we have our Electric, and then we have our Dark. Uh, the Dark and Electric have their energies here, and then the Fighting is the only one that doesn't have the energy because it can use the basic energy for it, any energy for it, uh, which is very nice. But that's the only thing other than normal type Pokemon that can use normal type energy. As you can see, we get lucky here, uh, meaning we get like 50-50 chance and we are able to take out that Melton so it doesn't build up to its maximum potential. And then we just have Caterpie in the back that we should be able to easily take out or he'll just give up. But I think... We will, we will actually have to take it out because, God, these people love to fight. They love to battle. I don't know why. They just like to take a long time. Even if I'm winning. Even if I'm ahead. They just constantly go. Like, I know when to stop. I, I know when to end. 
end stuff. When stuff is not going well with me, and I know that I have no chance of getting back into the game, I've thought of every possible option in my gigantic brain that I just cannot keep on going. I cannot keep doing things. Um, but yeah, right now, he's just going to consistently play this uh, until I take out one of these things, which right now I am going to switch out into Weezing just to get a for sure hit because I don't want to have to. I just want to I just want to hit it down and then it'll be at 10 HP because of me using the poison and also the 30 damage attack. And then he can choose whether he wants to end this or not. And you want to guess what he chooses? I guess we'll just have to wait and see because it's about to happen here anyway. Uh, but yeah, anyway, yeah, just looking at this deck and everything like that, it was just, it was just me looking for anything because I just cannot wait for the new card packs to come out, the new card switch up. I already have some gold saved up. I already have some uh, hourglasses saved up. And so I just can't wait for that new pack to come out with new cards. I know it won't be a huge one, but at least it'll be some sort of expansion to at least give us something else to work with. Some other moving piece, maybe a new one with an active ability that can like change up a whole game or differ the meta in some way, because Mewtwo is still leading at 30%. Charizard, Pikachu are also at the top there, and it's just, stuff needs to change. It's just getting too, Jesus. Like, come on guys. <laughs> I always love experimenting with Pokemon, changing up the decks, trying different things, and it's just so hard to just, keep it the same I, I don't I, I want to be able to just have fun play the game and uh, hit stuff like that to where this is down and I win this match Whew. and so yeah we get our three points there and let's get into our next game all right we are back in the second game and yeah all right we have zero we're going against zero right now the number or the letters, whatever you want to do. Uh, <laughs> but, okay, what is the start off here? What are we looking at? We are going second, so that's awesome. And then we have, what is that? Okay, we have the snake boy, the Ekans. And so we shall place that right here. And then Eevee there, and then we also have Jolteon in our deck, which is awesome. They have a Star U on the other side, so we instantly know this is a water deck with Starmie EX, probably Articuno EX, and a bunch of other stuff that could be very annoying, like Misty and different... Yep, there. <laughs> well, how did I guess? <laughs> uh, so what we really need to do is get online Jolteon as fast as possible, but what is he going to get here? Nothing, thank God. All right, that at least keeps Staryu at bay for a tiny bit. And we have both Jolteon, so that is actually a great start for us. We're just going to start building up this EV right. Or do we keep Ekans out in the front and just start smacking the Staryu? Uh, yeah, we keep Ekans out in front. We smack the Staryu. We put that dark energy on him. And because we have the electric energy in the back, so that we're able to just, you know... Uh, put that on the Jolteon once we make it a thing, and then next turn, even if Ekans gets taken out, I can put Jolteon in and then start smacking with super effective damage to Staryu. So he heals Staryu, which isn't a big issue, and then he also makes it a Starmie EX, I believe, right now? Or does it just attack me? Yeah, Starmie EX. He's scared of it getting taken out instantly, which... Fair enough, I could have just swapped out Ekans for the Jolteon that was about to happen. Um, not this turn, but the next turn. And if he didn't make it a Starmie EX by then, then it would have been dead. But we are going to put that electric energy onto that Eevee. And then do a Pokeball to grab another Eevee. Not the biggest fan of that, but also we'll take it. It's at least another Jolteon that we can use to dodge and weave around people with. Uh, just in case, let's smack that Staryu, that Starmie EX, that Staravia. No, I, it's, 
I hope that Star Raptor is coming in this game soon. I've loved, I love Star Raptor, one of my favorite bird Pokemon. Um, but yeah, so I hope it's coming soon. Also, Luxray, a lot of Gen 4, I'm hoping, comes to this game. It'd be nice to see that. Even Bidu for B Barrel, come on. <laughs> get, get the classics in here. Um, so we are hoping for a amazing Jolteon roll or else we are absolutely screwed. Uh, and there's Arbok after we already lost our buddy. May he rest in peace. Um, but let's do this, electric energy on that, and then we just pin missile. Pin missile, heads, heads, heads. That's it, that is it. That is 140 damage to that Starmie EX insta instantly taking it out and making it a non-factor inside this game um jolteon definitely inside this deck is the most important thing and then the next thing is probably wheezing wheezing is the next most inherently good thing about this deck and then menfu and uh arbok are like the side characters that help out at the beginning of the games or if you do need to, like, hold stuff in a certain place, Arbok is the guy to go to. Uh, but let's do a pin missile! Pin missile! Pew! Okay. Uh, <laughs> a bit of an issue. Luckily, the luckily the Articuno only has one energy, so it's not really an issue for us right now. Uh, but if we miss next attack, then it will probably start hurting us. Um... And so he potions right here, so he can take two hits. Never mind, he can only he can only take uh he can only take he can take three. I was gonna say he can take three hits, but no, he can only take two hits still because he's at 100 HP only. And so I need to hit one of these heads if I use Jolteon. Let's do an electric right here, and then we can make that into a Jolteon next time we get a Jolteon. And pin missile. Pin missile, baby. All right, miss, hit, hit, miss. All right, perfect. That's all we needed. And then, boom. And that is <laughs> that is the game. Um, but anyway, if you guys did want to play this deck, I don't know why you would want to, but it's here on the screen right now. And I hope that you guys do enjoy the video. If you did, please support the channel. Leave a like. If you like my commentary, if you like how I am, then maybe some, think about subscribing to the channel, maybe, possibly. And if you support me, thank you. Peace out.